We're in Allergic Stadium in Las Vegas, home of the Invaders, a city where everything you love is legal. Betting, hookers, and good old-fashioned murder. Are you ready for some mutant football? Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Carcass City Creeps take on the Las Vegas Invaders. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but uh, the monsoon mudslides have begun. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. One. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 Oh, this guy just loves punishing the defenders. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. They probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the offense. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. And like Bricks' balls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Touchdown! <laughs> well, that's a strange penalty call right there. First and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. And there goes the ref. Too bad it was supposed to be his last game before he retired, Bricks. Well, he's retired permanently now. At least he'll save some money on the retirement party. Good point. First down and forever. Hot one, hot two. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Oh, and the defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the... Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And the runner is going crazy fast. Oh, and he breaks free. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking.
looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot Ten-yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here, he's just making... Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Oh, with a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And the defense jumps on sides trying to mutilate the QB. Now, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say, what the fuck, the fuck, the fuck? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking cracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. And that'll bring up third and one. Not one. Not one. ball just sliced through the defense like butter. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Sam. And they line up for the extra point. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. This guy's a brick shithouse, and that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. You know, the comments after last week's game were blowing up on shitter. Critics said he should shut up or blow up. You know, two birds with one stone there, I suppose. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to come off the bench to replace him. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. First down and five. Hot one, hot two. Second down and nine. And he's running like a moose right now. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Yeah. 
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Not one. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. And Matt Mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. Cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Don't get some better dogs. Time. And it's first and ten. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And the defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. I want to get it, and then I get it, chop it up, kill myself. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot. Another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. They need to call an attack ref dirty trick and stop this or they're going to lose. Not like they need any help with that, though, man. These guys are doing fine by themselves. It's the end of the first quarter, and I just want to say that this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Other than my mother-in-law, of course, wearing that moo, moo Is she gonna dry clean that before she gives it back to me? Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, nice hit. <laughs> Second down in a very long. Hot one. Hot two. Third down and the punter is warming up. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. I turned out the light and wasn't wrong. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. 
The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. One, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. And Bricks, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. They just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, we'll take it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. The defense just blew up a player who thought he was going to score. <laughs> oh, that hot potato dirty trick gets him every time. And it's first and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. Second down and more than the QB would like. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw down oh, the old broke back mountain play. Got hit by a mountain of mutant, got his back broken, and now he's in a mountain of pain. Now the defense called a time warp dirty trick, negating that play completely. The offense is pissed. Well, I wish I had that trick in the arm and it would be earlier. I let one rip. I mean, a really good one, Grim. And then the door's open and the team cheerleaders get on. Oh, oh, that's when small talk is really put to the test. And it's 
first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Second down and seven. Hot one. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the pit. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Two, three. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not down. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Two, three. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Had at that totally bone strip club last year, Graham. <laughs> yeah, she said for 20 bucks, I'll take it all off. I didn't know she met her head. That was uh, kind of weird. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And he gets into the end zone for the conversion. Now it's all fun and games until he tries break dancing. Yep, let's go, this. It's always more play roll. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. Second down in a very lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. First down. He was not going to drop that one. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And that play went nowhere fast. No gain. Second down and ten. The quarterback is controlling the clock right now like the clock is into it. He just clock blocked the clock. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry-up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, the ref calls a penalty. You know, the MFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. That's probably a smart idea. He's got the distance, and the kick is gone! Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. 
Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go into a strip show. Where are we going? Yeah. Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Brex. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Brex. You're an idiot. Well, that'll trim your nostrils hairs once and for all. This defender is not going to be stopped. Once he picked up that loose ball, he was going to score or die trying. Luckily for him, he scores! <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. The kicker just ended up in the meat wagon. They'll need to find another player on their bench who can kick field goals. Good luck with that. The defense uses a time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. I think all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. <laughs> the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the cube. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fuck, 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 fuck. And it's first and ten. The quarterback has had enough and called a murder ball dirty trick. He broke free and has open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. 
And that'll bring up second and one. Third and four. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. And he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? First down. Give the oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. moving he picks up five yards on that play second down and five hot, hot one hot two hot, hot, hot. and the quarterback throws a murder ball which will fight he's rumbling and stumbling he could go all the way Here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. <laughs> Second down in a lot, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Ah, the ref's certainly taking a lot of abuse in this league, Grim. And the fans sure love it. And for like a pinata at a Mexican birthday party. <laughs> Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Third down and forever. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he just wrestles. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. And the defense is on his heels. First down and six. For the touchdown. Yeah. Okay, nice and easy like a two foot putt. You miss two foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. My truck on the white. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made at the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. for every yard. His cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score. Oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, man, he 
deep. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Nice pickup for six yards. Second down and four. Ah, another interception. Geez, you give this guy a big Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. There, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. And he just slipped away like a Greek pig. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Well, the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. We need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. It's a quarter three comes to an end, but this game is far from over and will be decided in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. I don't even know. Kicking is for pussies, Bricks. They're going for two. Yeah, they got big balls, Grim. Yeah, bigger than yours. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Well, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. <laughs> the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well, <laughs> The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down he probably cramped his pants. And it's
yards, first and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. First and ten. Second down and long. And then it's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch? Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Boom, and he's dead ah, with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And that'll bring up second and one. And the quarterback throws another pick. He should have eaten the Sleeties. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball dirty trick. Ah, oh, pass the popcorn, Grim. Zoom in on his face, then his crotch. I'm going to see if he cries or pisses himself first. Second down and a very lot. Might have managed to dig out a yard on that one. Not my yard. Got too much buried in, you know, the usual money, bodies, coffee cans filled with, well, uh, you know, mostly coffee. Tastes better, like Eskimos burying salmon eggs, kimchi. No matter anything really tastes good. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! Was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about... Sh oh, that's a big time hit. You ever been hit like that before, Briggs? Uh, have you seen my beer? <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> that's a pass and catch for a new game. Then how is it a pass? Second down and ten. Third down and the punter is warming up. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. I'm surprised no one used it. <laughs> I think of carving 
big turkeys on Thanksgiving, the MFL on TV. Kind of brings a whole MFL family together, doesn't it? And with a burst of speed, he finds an opening and the first down. And the offense has only two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this man. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. Ouch! What is this? Annie's wrestling? Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two. Scrambler. Third and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And the two-minute warning sound. Sounds like what, Grim? Sounds like the asshole I'm living on. Third and two. Hot, hot one. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. A freaky fast ham and sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Yeah, I'm still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, man. Didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? It's better to be lucky than. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, Grim. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down his guy to the speed feed rim. He's running from his team. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Nothing 
nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And he lets fly with the bomb! Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stopsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez! And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive up. And that's a hell of a cheap. The Los Wages Invaders win at home. As my dad always said, bet on the home team advantage and always flush twice. Or maybe three times. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I heard wounds taste just like chicken. How was it scrambled tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. That I know. Mm-mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...